Oh yes, uh, we are friends uh, in Mongolia, from Mexico and from Mongolia. Come on in. You're saying that most people in Mongolia are Buddhists. And, yeah. but you personally, you don't believe in this. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Before we get to the land of the Khans, I wanted to produce another train trip video showing you how we travel and tell you some facts along the way. Let's go. It's Mongolian! <laughs> We gotta go this way. Welcome to Mongolia. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, so you get two shots. You either get a Mongolian train or you get a Russian train. Konstantin's first trip is gonna be on a Mongolian train. So it can only get better from here. Uh, Mongolian trains are a little bit older, but they're not too bad, guys. There? Yeah. All right. There he goes. Oh, you got it? All right. It's not so bad, I guess, but we're looking good. Already. And the trains are already moving before we even get to our room. Yeah. Is this is this one? Yeah, open it. All right. Let's get inside. Constantine's over there in his room. And uh, we're gonna set up. You already know that's how we do. Let's get comfortable, guys. I mean, this clip is non-stop. That's how fast. The train goes from Sludanka. We're not even at two minutes recording. Spectacular. We are back at it again. Welcome back to the channel. You can see we're on a train from the opening clip. We're doing a small little time lapse to see if it kind of works. We'll show that to you guys later. But Sandy is going to do her famous bed on a train. Let's see how she does it. Then I'll set mine up. So on these trains, the first step is bring down the actual bed. Uh, on this side you can see I have a seat this is the seat the bed is actually the backing and after that you have this uh, soft mattress and they give you bed, uh, things. that's right they give you a package with uh, all the linen and stuff that you're going to Ulan need <laughs> Ulan Batar. nice Russian right. can read it. let's go oh. right now Ksenia is gonna show you what's in the bag it's towel it's a towel so uh for whenever you're gonna wash up you get a towel it's for your pillow it's for your pillow nice it's a pillowcase and this for your bed one you can use like a blanket yeah you get one for your blanket uh and then the other one's for the lining of the bed and now uh she's gonna get started on the linen on the bed what I like to do is just fold it once and uh, lay it on top of the bed. I don't really go too deep into it. But she's got her own strategy. And, and that's the nice thing. Everybody can do whatever the heck they want. Xenia just decides to... Wait, are you doing it my way? I always do like that. Yeah, yeah. She learned from me. There you go. You see, you just fold it basically in half and you can lay it on the bed. All right, that's it. That's the first uh, layer there. She's got it laid down. Interesting fact about the Mongolian trains is the inside, they're like plastic. There's some plastic material, guys. It's can you hear that? It's so funny. Um, uh, you even can probably see like small pieces right here. There's okay, it's made up of different small plastic pieces. Anyways, go ahead. Put it in your uh, pillowcase. Again, I don't actually use a pillow. I just uh, lay my 
head on the mattress. It's not a problem for me. I, I just don't like these pillows and I don't like pillows in general. So I will mine. Yeah, she could have every pillow in this room. Not a problem. And just like that. Which side are you gonna put your head on? This side? Yes. Nice. I she likes to put her head over there. I like to put my head towards the door for some reason. Yeah, but like this I can see you. It's very <laughs> comfortable. Yeah, we get to see each other. All right, here we go, another view. That is the second linen sheet. Okay, Xenia has uh, the blanket. Now she's laid the other linen on top. So basically you put this on top of the second linen and you get under both of them. You just never can be too safe to know if these are clean or not. And she's gonna be nice and warm in there. Here you go. And I like, like so that's how it is. We'll show you later how she looks in, inside her bed. Uh, now I'm gonna do my bed. All right, now it's my turn to sit up my bed. Uh, remember, we'll bring this down. There's, these, there's a clip here, you unclip it. That goes on the side. We have our blanket here, fold it. I use this as a pillow and that's it my bed is set that's how I like it this is how I sleep usually I don't use a, a, a blanket just like this <laughs> now let's show you what Xenia is looking like check that out oh, really comfortable. super nice huh now the reason why I don't like doing this style is because I move too much anyways and I'm a freaking animal so I just need the bare minimum by the way the time lapse is still happening uh, let's check what that looks like right now for anyone who's able to take the trip from Siberia to Mongolia I encourage you to do so the trip is about 20 hours long but three or four of those hours you'll be able to see Lake Baikal Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake in volume in the world it's also the oldest and the deepest lake in the world. So you're basically taking a tour around a natural world wonder. I hope you enjoyed this time lapse. Thank you so much. So I'm really happy to uh, let you guys know, Xenia, I lift the iPad up. Xenia downloaded like games for two people and these things have been so fun. So when you're traveling uh, for more than a day, you should probably download some games that you can play with someone else. But I think you just started losing Uno. <laughs> last episode was how he oh, was Oh guys, game. yeah, last time we were on a train, our old game was Uno. She slaughtered me. I won like one game out of 20. It was horrible. And uh, if you could hear my voice, I'm getting sick right now. But the good thing is that we're going to a place where it's more sunny and uh, hopefully I get better. But anyways, that's how it is right now. That's the view. That's Lake Baikal. Uh, you saw from the time lapse that we're basically on the edge of Baikal for hours. But and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a little sunny. Yeah, it's a little bit more sunny, but we love the views. That's our home. We live on the edges of Slidanka and that's next to Baikal. It's so awesome. we're gonna show you some games now. Well, here you can see these are all free games and... Free without internet. Exactly, that's what I like. You don't need internet to play any of these games on this app. So we're going to go ahead and play this one. It's like uh, flying basketballs. Mm -hmm. I am blue. You press the button and you have to get it in the hoop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get points. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's fly. Nice. This is entertainment at its <gasps> finest, guys. Oh, no. Xenia is uh, beating me, but I'm also have a handicap of recording. Oh. She loves to win. 
and yeah that's basically the main idea behind these apps is entertainment for free I'm just tapping away I'm not really trying guys <laughs> But it's very funny because uh, you can use this game even for four person. Yeah, it's four person game, uh, this app. Super, super handy whenever you're traveling. Just, uh, there she goes, first place. <laughs> nice. And so we made it to Ulanude and I'm getting progressively sicker and sicker, but it's no problem. Why? Because uh, Xenia and I and Constantine are still having a lot of fun. We're making our way to Mongolia. It's going to be about uh, maybe four hours until we get to the border. And uh, let's see what the Ulanude train station looks like. Unlike the station in Irkutsk where it's like white and blue, Ulanude has this brown and yellow color. And of course, no Russian city train station is complete without its bears. And that's basically it. You can see that we were picked up by the Welcome to Mongolia train. This is a Mongolian uh, line. The workers in the train are Mongolian. They are not Russian. There's two flavors, uh, the Russian flavor and the Mongolian flavor when traveling to Mongolia. You can get either one. Look at this. Really nice, huh? Uh, you know, guys, our trick is we rest from Sliudanka to Ulanude, and then uh, we wake up here, we walk outside and stretch a little bit. I am, of course, getting sicker and sicker by the second. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you don't get sick. It's too late. It's too late? Yeah, because I feel a little strange myself. You feel strange? Right. Well... Anyways, I don't give you be so sick. Listen guys, no matter what happens, we're gonna have a good time. And I know you're gonna have a good time because we're gonna do some new things in Mongolia. Constantine uh, and I are gonna be on a cool adventure. And you're gonna come with us. Constantine and I, sorry, I'm dying. Liar. There are many things that connect Buryatia and Mongolia. The Buryat people are related to the Mongolians by culture, history, language, and geography. Buryatia sits north of Mongolia, and after Ulanude, it's a straight shot to Ulaanbaatar. The lands between the cities are wild and untamed. Again, I encourage anyone who can make this trip to do so. You will never regret seeing a fusion of two nations. Here's an interesting time lapse for you guys. On the outside of Ulaanbaatar, there's not many tall buildings, but as we go further into the center, you get to realize that this city is on steroids. Many new buildings are erected every year, and well, just enjoy this time lapse of us arriving at the train station. Welcome. Welcome to Mongolia, Constantine. Feel better. Yeah, because you breathe for fresh air. All these brand new. It's <laughs> so cool. Hey guys, the trip doesn't stop here. You can watch some previous uploaded videos from Mongolia or you can see some stuff that we do in Russia. Thank you so much for the support.